Hey everyone, this is Tim at Stammer, and what we are going to be covering for this video is how to debug chatbot responses. Specifically, whenever you think it should be responding in a certain way, but maybe it's not responding as you might think. Maybe you put something in the knowledge base and to your dismay, the chatbot is not using that information. So we do have a functionality that's called debug mode. What you need to do is go to the update area, scroll down, click on advanced settings, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click debug mode. I've already done it for this, so it is turned on. Now what I'm gonna do is ask it a general question. What can Notifier do? It's talking with ChatGPT, it's sending the results to the knowledge base, and we should get a response now, and there it is. So now imagine that this response is not what I expected. What can I do at this point? How can I know how ChatGPT came up with this answer? Well, all you need to do actually is scroll down to debug mode. And let me show you the first thing here. And I don't want you to get overwhelmed with this, but this is a record of everything we send to ChatGPT. If you're ever curious, that is there, you can see it. Now, what I usually do though is go down a little bit further in the page, to this area here where it says knowledge base search results. And this shows you the exact knowledge base results that we've sent to ChatGPT. In fact, if you look up here, you will see these in here. But this just makes it a little easier to take a look quickly. Eventually, we may improve the formatting of this. It's just it's only been us that has really been using this, so we haven't done it yet. But let me show you and explain how this works. So right here, we have the query that was actually used to do the semantic search. Um, if you don't understand high level, at least, what semantic search is, you may want to look at one of my videos that covers how the knowledge base works. Um, you should be able to find it in our YouTube playlist on tutorials. And if not, we will try to link it in this video. Let us know, comment, or something on the video if, if we don't have it linked there, but we will, we will try to get that linked. So that is the user's query. And that's what's used to actually search the knowledge base and actually come up with these results. And then we have three results currently that we send, okay? If any of you ever think we should send more, um, then let us know. In some ways, this is a bad example because you're gonna notice that my knowledge base results for this example chatbot are very small, but I think it may be good for this tutorial because it's not gonna clutter up the screen with a ton of information. So result number one is this. The type is a question and answer result, a Q&A result. And we have what is Notifier? And we have the answer. Notifier is a social listening tool that notifies you when keywords you care about are mentioned on the internet, okay? That's result number one. And if you wanna see where that data actually lives within the knowledge base, I'm going to click here. I am going to go into the knowledge base and we will see here these questions here. Okay. Now, let's see, we've got result number two. I'm gonna scroll back down here. It's another question and answer result, and it's causing to send this data here. And then we have result number three, another Q&A result, and it is this. This is a format that we discovered with ChatGPT that seems to work well with ChatGPT. Uh, let us know if you ever have any doubts about that. We can easily change this format or maybe possibly make it configurable, but that seems to work very, very well for us. And it understands kind of that format that here's the question and the equals represents the answer. It's almost like variable assignment in some ways. But yeah, that is basically how this works. And if you were to come in here, and I, I almost wish I had an example of it not working properly, but that's easier said than, than done. But if anyone has an example, let, let me know. Maybe we can debug this kind of live as long as I can share the chat publicly. But what you could do is you could see how valuable this is, right? So if it's not responding as you expect, look in here and see what data is being sent to it. And that can usually tell you, oh, okay, I get it. You know, it doesn't have the information it's needy, needing. Maybe the relevant information is not in here. Maybe it's getting cluttered up with other bad information from another page on the website you scraped or maybe an older Q&A that you didn't know about or something's conflicting. Um, one weird thing I had happen actually recently was someone had 
trained a chatbot on a certain office hours time for their their product, but the chatbot was getting confused and was responding with a completely different office hours time. And what we actually did is I went in here and turned on the debug mode and I found, okay, what is this? I said, it, it was actually responding with the bad office hours time. And that allowed me to know, okay, somewhere in here, it's getting this strange office hours. And when I investigated it further, I actually went into the code of the website and it turned out there was a human visible field that was being hidden by JavaScript that was describing the office hours of a completely different product. Uh, it was actually a widget they had kind of embedded in their, uh, in their site. And that was the office hours of the widget. And because that was a visible field that was suddenly getting hidden by JavaScript when a page renders and the JavaScript runs, but not when our scraper scrapes it, that was causing an issue. Anyway, I've rambled on too much here. I think you get the point. Look in here, see what data is actually being sent to ChatGPT, and that should really help you debug some of these issues where the chatbot is not responding as you expect. Okay, so as always, let us know in the Discord if you have any questions about this video or if you need any more information about debugging. Thanks.